Today we're going to take a look at Silvestri Builders and we're out here in the Lewis Center area and I like this for a couple of reasons. One, Silvestri is a very nice family owned company. You get a very hands on, custom kind of feel. It's a great neighborhood here. We're only a very short, literally a bike ride to Alum Creek. We're only a couple miles north of the Polaris area. And with these lots, they're a little larger than what you would typically get in your kind of normal cookie cutter subdivision, which I also like. Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. One of the nice things of working with a family builder like this with Silvestri is you get a very hands-on kind of approach. You're not just kind of sloughed off to some employee somewhere. You really can get a lot of nice touch points with the owners themselves on a regular basis, which is great when you're building a home like this. You know, five level split, the first level is the entry, the living room, dining room, den, kitchen, that kind of stuff. And you get this really high soaring ceiling. People really like it. A lot of windows, lots of glass, feels very light and airy. The other level that you get is a little different than a traditional two-story house is the master suite, this whole kind of master floor all to itself. Really great, you get the rooms, you get the bedroom, lots of closets. Let's take a look and see how this space lays out. The other levels here are the level upstairs, which are all the guest bedrooms and the kids' bedrooms. What's great, this is a 3,600 square foot house and literally every bedroom gets its own bathroom. Now the other part of a five level split that makes it really special is this level down here. This is where you get a lot of great square footage for your money. This is how the house gets up to 3,600 square feet and is still a really good value. Get this whole living room, family room thing down here, it's a really great place. And then the additional last level is down here, which is kind of more your traditional basement. And this ceiling is high enough that the little ones can even play basketball in there. Great place for the kids to run around, make a mess, do that kind of stuff, and still have this nice kind of formal room. And again, look at the quality. I really like what they do with Silvestri. Look at all this woodwork going around here. It really lends itself to really nice touch and things like that. Plus, on top of it, this room has a bar and a wet bar over here, another half bath here, giving this house a total of six bathrooms all together. One of the really cool things is you can get a really custom design kind of house. You know, you don't have to settle for something that's a cookie cutter in the subdivision kind of thing. I mean, this is the kind of house you can clearly tell. It's just not from someone's set of uh, floor plans. It's really custom design, really right for the buyer's needs. And uh, it's really kind of an exciting look. I'm really interested in myself and seeing what, they, uh, what this house is like on the inside. So let's go take a look. And wow. This is nice on the inside, even nicer on the inside than I expected, but this is really what you would want, kind of a custom built house, I and mean, this really grabs your attention. We got a parlor room, a nice sized dining room up front, and really the kind of look and texture, I, I find this to be very kind of classic style. This is kind of a nice enduring look to it, it's not ultra modern, not something that'll get dated quickly. And as you're building a house, you know, you really get the high volume, the kind of ceilings and things that you would not find in the older house, but it still has that kind of classic kind of look as I walked in that you would want to find in like a, a real old kind of house, like in an Arlington or even in a Bexley. Now when you're custom building a house, you certainly get the ability to choose all the different kinds of finishes and colors that you want, but you really get these special kinds of treatments. And I, I think the stairwell, this whole entry is really a great example. I mean, just look at this thing. It's a beautiful piece of woodwork and great metal work to it. And, and it really fits into this kind of design and how this space goes around it, having the little work areas over here for uh, the computers and homework area and that kind of stuff. Plus in this kind of price range, you really get to have these kind of special kinds of rooms. I mean, things you wouldn't even find in other kinds of houses. And this in this case, they turn into a sewing room that could be used for any kind of thing. And you just look at the detail. It's really a, a special kind of nook, private little room to go to. It's really, uh, really very well done. Now, this is really what you'd want in a master suite. And I do mean suite. Get this whole room over here, like a private sitting room, divided by this really nice fireplace. Then you come into this very large but very tastefully done master bedroom area. Beautiful view out to the golf course. Has the right kind of dynamic features to it leading into the master bath, and actually I think I call it more of a master spa. Wait till you take a look at this, it's really great.